there, PA Cyber. Welcome to another edition of The Click. We're back from an extended holiday break and ready to start 2011 with even more student stories, school activities, news, and information. We begin this episode of The Click with the news of yet another huge accomplishment for PA Cyber. In December, our school was honored with a Keystone Achievement Award for demonstrating sustained academic achievement and making adequate yearly progress in the 2008-2009 and 2009-2010 school years. And PA Cyber is the only cyber charter school in the state to win this award. The large keystone-shaped placard will be on display here at the school's administration building. Well, high school students, what do you think of the new Study Island interface? The new look, which launched in early December, now allows you to post your picture, take part in polls and forums, and read age-appropriate articles so be sure to check it out. Well, students, this is where you can grab your parents because we want to hear their thoughts. PA Cyber recognizes that strong continuing family and community involvement in all aspects of school programs and activities provides support for measurable improvement in student achievement. In order to determine the effectiveness of our programs, we're asking all parents and guardians to take our annual survey to help us measure our success in you. To do so, click on the link attached to this episode or see the posting in Blackboard. Well, I know there's a lot of snow on the ground right now, but I want to talk summer with you for just a moment. This summer, high school sophomores and juniors will have the opportunity to participate in Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week, which gives students a rare opportunity to experience life on a college campus. Held at Lycoming College and the Pennsylvania College of Technology, Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week has combined rigorous academic instruction with a hands-on approach to give students the knowledge and skills they'll need for the workplace of the future. Participating students will gain a unique experience by working with actual Pennsylvania business representatives who will assist them in the creation of virtual companies. Students will learn how to become better decision makers, strengthen their strategic planning skills, and sharpen their presentation abilities. For program dates, information, and an application, visit www.pfew.org or contact the PA Cyber Guidance Office. Well, please join me in congratulating Mr. Richard Russell as the KDKA Teacher of the Month for January. Mr. Russell is an IS on Spanish Academy in Wexford, as well as a student achievement representative for his team, and he's also an accomplished actor starring in many local theater companies. If you have Mr. Russell, be sure to congratulate him on the honor. And now from school news to student news, it's time for the Student Spotlight. Student and gymnast Abby Kaufman recently competed in the National Judges Cup where she took gold on the vault and the bars and tied for first place in the all-around. Abby also received silver on the beam and the bronze for her floor routine. Student Emily Wiseman is volunteering with the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital's annual walkathon in Johnstown, PA, and she's inviting any student in the area to come and join her. The event, which raises money for cancer research for children, will be held on March 5th, and to participate in the walkathon, you must raise a minimum of $5. For more information, you can see the flyer attached to the click email. Eighth grader Christy Orlikowski performs with the Manhattan-based dance company Generation X, a teen performance crew with backgrounds in dancing, gymnastics, singing, and acting. Christy and the rest of her crew will have their debut performance on January 22nd in The Takeover in the Alvin Alley American Dance Theater in New York City. For more information on Generation X, you can visit www.kpdcworld.com. Senior Billy Catrone was named the GoErie.com Boys Basketball Breakout Player of the Week for the week of January 7th. Catrone, a senior guard for Commodore Perry High School, is emerging as one of the top scorers in his region, netting 30 points in a 70-52 win over Calvary Baptist and 30 in his team's loss to Conneaut Valley. Well, congratulations to Jocelyn Gruber, a PA Cyber Gate student who was chosen as Pennsylvania's Miss Outstanding Team. Jocelyn also represented PA at the recent Miss America pageant. In December, ice skater and PA Cyber 7th grader Graham Newberry placed second in the regional competition for intermediate level ice skating and went on to compete in the junior national competition in Salt Lake City. 
Also excelling on the ice is 10th grader Jack Newberry, his brother, who won the regional championships in the novice level. Jack also won the Eastern Sectional Championships and will compete at the U.S. Nationals in North Carolina from January 22nd through 24th. And finally, 15-year-old Josiah Baker and his father climbed Mount Kilimanjaro from January 3rd through the 14th. The purpose of their climb was to raise awareness and funding to dig clean water wells in Kenya and Tanzania in East Africa. Over 6,000 children die every day due to illness that is directly connected to the unclean water that they have to walk up to seven miles a day to gather. Josiah and his father are pleased to be part of the Kill a Climb 2011 with the other members on their team, who together raised enough funds to dig 10 water wells and transform 10 communities through the life-bringing clean water that will come from these wells. You can learn more about their climb at killaclimb.org. And as always, the talent and dedication of our students never ceases to amaze me. Remember to send your story in to news at pacyber.org so we can share your accomplishments with your fellow students. And if you're interested in meeting any of your awesome classmates, you have plenty of chances to do so with all the great upcoming field trips and Family Link events we have planned. On deck over the next few weeks, snow tubing in Center County on January 26th and then again in Tioga and Erie counties on January 27th. There's a high school coffee house night in Pittsburgh on February 2nd and field trips to Splash Lagoon and Great Wolf Lodge on February 18th and 28th respectively. And that's just the beginning. To see a full list of events, you can check out the postings in Blackboard. Well, that's it for this episode of The Click. Be sure to RSVP to at least one upcoming event and get to know your classmates outside of class. And as always, you can send your comments, stories, and suggestions to news at pacyber.org. Until next time, I'm your host, Tony Sacone-Craig. Thanks for clicking on The Click.